Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Plague Inc. And uh, I know you've seen the main game phases of this game. You got bacteria, virus, fungus, nerax worm, parasite, necrovirus, prion, nanovirus, bioweapon. And we've beat all these, and I think I've shown almost all these on the YouTubes. I know I've shown them all on, on Twitch. Uh, but there is another aspect of this game called scenarios. Scenarios are a little different from the main game. Basically, they change the rules of the game, and they have different types of plagues that you can use here that are not in the main game. So, as far as changing the rules, there's this volcanic ash scenario, which means there's all the airports are shut down, and there's the pirate plague, which means all the seaports are shut down, or there's shut down everything. Everything is shut down: land borders, air borders, everything. Uh, mirror Earth, hot is cold, cold is hot, all that kind of stuff. Global warming, global cooling, golden age, uh, black death. There's a whole lot of stuff. Oh, is this the bubonic plague? Yeah, this is the bubonic plague. Neat. Artificial organs. The frozen virus. The Nipah virus. Uh, the random start, which is kind of pointless. But there it is. The random start. Um, swine flu. Small smallpox. Let's try the swine flu. Why not? Let's get in there and try the swine flu. See what's different between this and anything else. Because surely there will be something different, right? So we got our extra random mutations. We got our extra bonus points for infecting new countries. We got our water affinity. We got our extremophile affinity. And pathostasis for abilities are cheaper. Goody. Mega brutal. Go. Now this is the swine flu, right? We'll call it uh, super piggy meltdown. Oh, it's delicious. Actually, no, no. Let's call it, um, let's call it extra... Delicious bacon. Oh, I can't put the N. No, I'm out of character. I can't put the N. Extra. Extra. Extra crispy bacon. There you go. Damn it. I, it's not the name I wanted, but it's the name that we get. Welcome to the swine flu scenario. You are now a uh, new strain of swine flu that has mutated. The failure in 2009 must not be repeated. All right. Select a start location. Well, let's start in Spain. No, let's go for Saudi Arabia. Let's start the swine flu in Saudi Arabia. What could possibly go wrong? So we start with some symptoms, which is interesting, right? As a scenario here, we have this whole bunch of pre-selected stuff for us. So if we check out our transmission, we transmit by piggies. We also have droplets, pathogens suspended in expelled liquid and particles from the victim, increase infectivity, especially on airplanes, okay? So we're going to need water one and water two for sure. We probably won't need uh, droplets two for more airplanes, but we definitely do want to get some piggy stuff, probably some bird stuff as well. Uh, the symptoms are uh, pretty normal. I think the symptoms are pretty normal. I mean, they're in different positions, like inflammation is up here for some reason there's coma right there yeah, they're certainly in different positions than on the normal symptom tree and uh extra crispy bacon yeah the abilities are different as well we get our viral instability that's the normal virus specialty but we also get bacterial pneumonia pathogen damages pulmonary lining allowing lethal secondary bacterial infections antibiotics will reduce impact all right so those are the differences between the regular virus and this swine flu virus Obviously, being a virus, we cannot get a refund on any of the symptoms or abilities or transmission. Anytime we want to get rid of something, it costs us points. Like if we wanted to get rid of fever, it would cost us three DNA just to get rid of something. So that's the that's the shitty part about being a virus. Is shitty allowed to be on YouTube? All right. Well, we're saying shitty on YouTube. Sorry, I'm not enough PC for you. Anyway, starting in Saudi Arabia, we should have some tolerance of heat. Uh, and tolerance of dry conditions, which is nice. Um, we're probably going to need some cold resistance. We're also going to need some water transmission. So let's get our water transmission first. Uh, see if we can't start spreading out of Saudi Arabia. One of the nice things about Saudi Arabia is it does have a lot of airplane flights all over the world. I mean, you'll see flights to the USA, to Britain, to Japan, to India, to China, to Egypt, to Brazil. You'll see flights from... Uh, Saudi Arabia is everywhere. Australia. They just go everywhere. And it's nice. It's a great early way to spread your virus. But the problem is it's also not a rich nation. So we're going to flood Saudi Arabia very quickly. And that could be dangerous. We're on mega brutal difficulty. On a mega brutal, you get discovered super fast. Let's get birds one going. And then water two, probably. And then cold resistance, I think. Maybe drug resistance. I don't know. Woman catches man flu. Whoa! Major oil field discovered in the Arctic. 
Computer games industry growing in the UK. Experts concerned about children not reading enough. Potato salad shortage due to price rate rise and fears. Yeah, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the Kickstarter stuff about potato salad, you should. It's amusing. And yeah, the, the news in the game is updated pretty regularly by the developers, which is fantastic. They just take random news that's that's going around and they put it in the game. So it pops up in the game. Like when Suarez started biting people. Pulmonary fibrosis. Oh my goodness. We're getting some really crazy symptoms already. We start with coughing, sneezing, pneumonia, and now we have pulmonary fibrosis, which unfortunately adds lethality, but eh, I mean, it does also add infectivity, so I guess we'll keep it. We might pay to get rid of it, though. We might pay to get rid of it. I don't like the fact that we have lethality this early on, but what can you do, right? What can you do Hoo -hoo, for a what can you do? Ah, we can also get Historic Reassortment. Gives the ability to access the genetic sequence expressed in the 1918 flu. Highly lethal strain, so we'll avoid that for now. Probably wait for water, too, before we go anywhere else. Uh, India current account surplus grows. Harry Potter reboot considered. Major Chinese leadership shuffle. Caesar voted the most popular pet name. New island found in the Pacific. And minor gold rush near Istanbul. Expect storms and freak weather more often, says the World Health Organization. Well, let's let's hope not for that. We don't need freak weather. Hey, top-notch mine opens in Sweden. A little late for that. When did when did Minecraft come out? Like 2008, 2009, something like that. Oh, three more. Come on, three more DNA. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, Chaucer's work being digitally remastered. Phone maker asked trendy singer to be CEO. What? Why would you do that? It's a terrible idea. Hey, we made it to Iceland. We definitely need cold resistance one and two. But let's get the water travel first. Notice we have a flight. Who the hell flies from Riyadh to Reykjavik? I don't know, but someone did. Someone took a flight from Riyadh to Reykjavik. And uh, because... Oh, there's some spray. Nice. Cold... I mean, water two for the win. All right, let's get cold one and cold two. Um, Yeah, just go ahead and get those... It's a bunch of DNA, but get it out of the way, because that's the only way we're going to spread through Iceland and Greenland and Canada and Russia and Germany and those places. We need cold resistance. What other transmissions can we get? Can we get birds, too? I would love birds, too. Hmm. Survive longer and expel droplets, especially on airplanes. Well, it's cheaper. It's only seven DNA, and it looks like it has the same infectivity boost. Yeah, okay, it's cheaper. I'll take it. It's cheaper. Probably don't need it, though. Insomnia. All right, good times. And we're in Spain. Now, we don't have drug resistance, so we're going to have to get some drug resistance if we want to actually uh, survive in rich places. So let's get drug resistance one. Probably also want to get our genetic hardening, although they aren't working on the cure just yet. They'll start on the cure as soon as uh, Saudi Arabia floods. So soon enough. Wow, we are really... Look at all those flights. We're, we flew to Germany. We flew to Spain. We flew to China. We flew to uh, New Zealand, Australia, Iceland. We're flying everywhere from Riyadh. It's awesome. Uh, more random mutations? Do I want to do that now or later? Mm -hmm. Could get birds. Birds would be nice. But it costs a lot of DNA. I think we'll hold off on the birds. Well, no, I do need more transmission. Nine points for the piggies, 22 points for the birds, 13 points for air travel. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll take the piggies. And we can also do sheep at some point, but I, we'll take the cheap stuff for now. As long as it gives us infectivity, I'm a happy boy. We're in Japan. Spreading out like crazy. The USA. Look at all those flights. Flights from Riyadh to Tokyo. Flights from Riyadh to what is that? Oklahoma City? I don't know where that is. Flights from Riyadh to... I, that's not Toronto. It's somewhere in, in Ontario though. And flight to... That's not Mexico City, but somewhere in Mexico. All these flights from Riyadh. It's amazing. And we're in Madagascar too. Good times. And we've been discovered. A diagnostic team in Saudi Arabia has identified a new disease which has been named Extra Crispy Bacon. It is quite severe and must be investigated further. No, don't investigate extra crispy bacon. Ingest 
extra crispy bacon. Just enjoy extra crispy bacon. It's it's amazing. We're going to get our uh, genetic hardening one. I'm not sure if we're going to go for genetic hardening two. Probably not, but it's available if we want it. Uh, we could do some lethality, but look at that. That's a huge boost in lethality. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to infect more people first. Uh, I would like to get some more infectivity if possible. Highly lethal strain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her. More infectivity. Hmm. Rash might be good. Inflammation adds lethality. Uh, I mean, rash is only two DNA, and it does add some infectivity, so I'll take it. Do I want that two DNA? Yeah. Hypersensitivity. Uh, rich regions vulnerable. Okay. And then there's more lethality there, so I'll, I'll avoid the ones that add lethality. Uh, oh man, look at those birds. Give me the birds. Well, actually, air two is more. Air two gives more than birds. All right, well, there you go. Infectivity is getting up there now. But we've been discovered, and they are going to start working on the cure. There they go, working on the cure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to work on the cure. You're going to work on the cure. Everybody's going to work on the cure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least we're spreading. Now, are we going to get to every nation in the world? That's a good question. Can we get to Greenland? Can we get to the Caribbean? Can we get to the Philippines? Can we get to New Guinea? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we could get bioaerosol. 23 points, but it doesn't add that much infectivity. It does add some. Birds actually adds more, but it also costs more. Hmm. I think I want the birds more than the bioaerosol. Give me the birds. Okay, India has flooding. Good, good. Do I want the bioaerosol? I think I do. Take it. All right, so that's all the infectivity we're going to go for. Uh, everything from now on is going to be free mutations. And we'll spend abilities on, like, drug resistance 2 would probably be nice. And do we want to get lethality yet? Not really. Let's get some random mutations going, though. Viral instability 1, 2, 3 increases random mutations. And those are for symptoms. So we get some symptoms coming out. Good times. Hopefully that'll increase infectivity, keep on spreading. We don't want to kill too quickly. A little bit of lethality is great, a lot of lethality is bad. Can we please get a flight to the Philippines? Or uh, a boat to New Guinea? Or a boat to the Caribbean? Or a boat to Greenland? Please, get on boats. Travel. There we go. Greenland is infected. Yay! And New Guinea! Goody! What about the Caribbean? We need to get to the Caribbean, people. Russia is leading the effort for the cure. Good for you, Russia. Coma has mutated. Wow. Love those free mutations. Now please go to the Caribbean, please. Ah, oh, damn, you missed. Stop missing the Caribbean. Go there. Go to the Caribbean, please. Go there. Oh man, these mutations. <laughs> There's so many. Can we please go to the Caribbean? Oh no. They're going to close their border. I know they are. And I don't want to start lethality. I don't want to bump up the lethality too early because a lot of these places are not very infected. And you could wind up with the, the infected people dying, but then the infection not spreading. Please get to the Caribbean. Oh, they're so close. Look at those ships walking right past... Yeah, walking, sailing right past the Caribbean, but they're not actually stopping there. There we go. Thank you, Britain. Britain just infected the Caribbean. So every nation is infected good times. How's our infectivity? Infectivity is pretty good. Pretty good. Transmission, I think, is just fine. Uh, I do want to unlock the lethal strain. So let's get that unlocked. And that opens up uh, a whole bunch of more symptoms over here. Uh, hemorrhage of the nasal mucous membranes causes severe nosebleeds. That sounds fun. What else we got? Uh, coughing up blood. That sounds fun. And then pulmonary hemorrhage. I'll leave those to go naturally. Uh, can we get... Do I want hardening too? I kind of want to get bacterial pneumonia. So let's hold off on the hardening too. Let's let the spread continue. I don't know why the U.S. is spreading so slowly. I mean, we have drugs one, drugs two. 
We don't have rats, though. That's true. Yeah, we're getting a ton of symptoms. Greenland's flooding. Caribbean's flooding. New Zealand is going so slowly. All right, we need to start killing people. So we're going to go for bacterial pneumonia. It adds a whole bunch of lethality. Oh, do I want to do that this early? Maybe we just go for some reshuffles. Slow down the cure. There you go. Knocked it down by 9%. Okay, USA is flooding. Caribbean is flooding. New Zealand is getting there. But New Zealand is being a real pain in the butt. Come on, New Zealand. Cure's getting up there, isn't it? Another reshuffle. Slow that down. Reshuffles are expensive, though. All right, looks like New Zealand's gonna flood. Great. We almost have the whole world infected. This is good times, man. Oops. <laughs> Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents, lowering productivity and drawing attention to ex extra crispy bacon. <laughs> ah. All right, we're gonna get some more lethality now. Bacterial pneumonia. Pathogen damages the pulmonary lining, allowing lethal secondary bacterial infections. Antibiotics will reduce the impact, but uh, we have a whole lot of lethality now, and infectivity is still massive. I think we're golden. Pretty sure we've got this. Look at those deaths. Oh, man. So that's the nice thing about viruses, is you get all these symptoms for free. I mean, we, we how many symptoms did we actually purchase? I purchased... Rash, hypersensitivity, that was two, four, and then I got epi epistaxis for four. I got hemo, whatever that is, for five. So for nine over there and four over here. So only 13. I only spent 13 DNA on symptoms, but look at all these symptoms we got for free. And that's what the virus can do. It doesn't always. It's random, right? But that's what the virus can do. So we got systemic infection. We got myocarditis infection inflames and damages the heart muscles severely lethal nice or severe and potentially lethal whatever and we're getting all these things for free so we have a ton of lethality now and we can always do another reshuffle if we need to we probably will towards the end but uh yeah i think we're pretty good here is there any place not fully infected who's not infected Oh, Canada's not infected. They're getting there. They're getting there. Don't get your hopes up, Canada. You're going downtown. Go on, Canada. Dysentery. Oh, goody. Everyone loves dysentery. So now it should say there are no healthy people in the world. UK is falling into anarchy. Good times, good times. Yep, there are no healthy people in the world. All right, so now we just kill them all. Anything for lethality? There you go. Hemorrhagic shock. Sounds good. Oh, man. <laughs> Cytokine storm. Positive feedback loop between cytokines and immune cells causes fatal immune reaction can offer insights into cure development. Well, tough shit. Look at that lethality, man. Total organ failure. 64 points. Well, I ain't got enough for total organ failure, but it shouldn't matter. They're just dying so fast. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the thing. The progress on the on the cure will go more slowly because there's fewer people alive in the world. Total organ failure. We have completely full lethality, completely full severity, and completely full infectivity. Nobody can hide from this shit. And we're still getting random randomly randomly mutated bonuses. Projectile vomiting combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing infected to projectile vomit. Increases infectivity of, of extra crispy bacon. Good times. Gotta love that bacon, man. It's delicious. Who doesn't like extra crispy bacon? Wow. Russia's dead. And they were the ones leading the effort for the cure. Extra crispy bacon to eradicate humans. Yep. Good times. So where are the last 900 people in the world? 
Bolivia, Canada, and Italy. The last 900 people in the world are in Bolivia, Canada, and Italy. 43 people, they're in Bolivia. So there you go. So Bolivia, if you don't know, they recently turned all their clocks backwards. So the clock faces, instead of going clockwise around 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way around back to 12 in the clockwise direction, now the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 goes counterclockwise. And the hands actually spin counterclockwise in Bolivia. I don't know why they've done this, but they've done it. So uh, the last 43 people in the world are watching time go backwards. 32 people in the world, zero. They're dead, yay! Victory, extra crispy bacon has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. That was the smallpox virus. Good times. Hmm. Even though it says virus, it's not a plague type virus. It's a plague type smallpox. It's a little different. Anywho. Yeah, that was the smallpox. Oh, I'm sorry, that was swine flu. My bad, swine flu. Oh, what, we don't get, um, that, wait a minute. Oh, what's this wrong, what's this thing here? I don't know. Anywho, you can see this little symbol means we did it on Mega Brutal. And you can see on the main game, I've done, yeah, Mega Brutal is when it has a filled in hexagon, not hexagon, yeah, hexagon. And then Brutal is when it doesn't have the hexagon around it. But yeah, so we've done uh, swine flu on the official scenarios. And there's tons of these. So if you want to see more of these, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I would be delighted to do a lot of these. Like Mirror Earth sounds fun, where rich are poor, poor are rich, hot is cold, cold is hot, that sort of thing. Uh, Black Death would be fun. Uh, the Frozen Virus is kind of secretive and interesting. Nipah Virus. Anyway, uh, let me know if you want to see any more of this. I've been Shen, you've been you. That was the Swine Flu Virus. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.